Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Mini Betrayal, and this is Factorio Mega Base Season Two, Episode Three. And today uh, we're going to actually, you know, build some stuff. Uh, so far, we've got a tiny little setup area down there, and a rather oversized for the point of the game that we're currently at smelting area. Um, now. So I've been having a little bit of a think, oh, bef quickly, before I launch any further, um, what I've done since the last episode, very, very little. I've put a radar there, and I have upgraded to Tiny Armor Mark II. I think that's it. Um, but yeah, I've been having, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been having a little bit of a think about how I want to do this. And so uh, I mentioned in the last episode, I am going to do a main bus, at least for the 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 starter base once we start moving towards like mega base proportions i may come up with something else um I, in fact i don't even know if anyone's done like a, a proper uh bust mega base before um i know there have been bases with enormous buses i've built such things myself um but i i honestly don't know m maybe i'll try i don't know but we'll we'll get there when we get there um, first up, I want to uh, build myself a science area. Um, so that's why I'm clearing out some trees there. Now I need a few more labs for that purpose. Um, so that gives me 10. Um, let's start off with 20 labs, I think. And I'm going to aim to go for... <sighs> See, normally I go for one science per second for the like starter base. Do I want to go for two? No, I, th I, I don't think I need to go that fast. We'll, we'll go for the one science per second. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have my bus going this way and I'm going to add on like, any extra stuff below it going in that direction, like that. And then all the science is going to be shipped up to the top of the bus where it's going to come back this way. Now we've got seven science packs. So I need four belts, or three and a half belts, but that's going to come back this way, and where my labs? Here. So how do I want to do this? Do I want just one single line or two? I think one single line is fine. Uh, let's start over this end so I don't cause more issues than I solve. Three, four, five. Um, you know what? Let's stick with that. And they each need a short input and a long input from both sides, like that. And then some power, like that. And then two belts, one running like that. One running like that, and the same down here. So, yeah, again, I don't need all of this infrastructure just yet, but I have it. So that's 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. Okay, and then these four that come up this way, um, I'll have... Uh, actually, I will put that one there. I have one there. One there, one there, and one there. Okay, so now I just need to fill this in. Um, that's what my bots are for. Now, uh, it was pointed out to me in the comments of the last episode that um, I did not disable my RoboPort while doing Battle with the Biters. Usually that's not something I worry about because bots are cheap. Um, so I just replace them, but I haven't yet researched them. I don't yet have the facility to make any more. So I'm now down from 20 to 15 bots. So we're going to run a little bit slower on that front. Um, might be able to help speed some things up a bit. Uh, try helping out with the belts, maybe. Just do the easy bits myself, and hopefully the bots will take care of the more intricate parts. 
Uh, now, of course, this also needs to be hooked up to power. We haven't actually connected it to anything yet. So, um, where's a convenient place to get power from? Probably just this corner down here. So, there and there. That looks like it's working to me. Just a few more bits to pop in. Thank you very much, autosave. Um, we've got plenty of power poles yet. Um, oh, we may be low on red inserters. Am I missing? Did I not build 20 of these? Or did I just put down too many? I must not have built 20. How many are we missing? Um, five. Okay, maybe I just clicked it once instead of twice. Uh, what else are we missing? F five red inserters. I think I can do that. So I just need to wait for this to get built and then we will move on. Okay, I think that's everything. Let's just get the bots back in. We'll do one last sweep to make sure we haven't missed any. Um, not getting any alerts there. That's good. Okay. Right, now the first thing I like... Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. I don't actually want those in there. There we go. Uh, yeah, the first thing I like to have on a bus is um, red science. So... Let's do that. Uh, so red science, we need to turn some iron into some gears and make, oh, and bring across some copper. And it needs to be further right than here. Um, so we can add them onto the bus properly. So uh, I also need a bunch of these guys, assembly machines. Uh, let me just make a few more. Okay. So um, how do I want to do this? Actually, should I do red science first? Yes. Ignore me. Okay, so this is a setup that I think should work. Um, I am just going to copy that and put another couple of inserters there. Um, I should really have these down there by now, I think. Okay, so we'll power this up, and we should then just need to hook this in, and we'll be good. So this line here wants to get some copper. So, uh, copper comes from there, and this one wants some iron, which comes from there. Don't need that. Okay, so copper. There's some copper. I run. There's some iron. Um, this wants to go back up there and spit out onto that belt. And then we just need to hook this up to power. And I have a power line that I prepared just here. Missed. Okay. That should be making us some red science. Keep an eye on it, make sure it's working. Now, it's not going to go terribly fast because these are just Mark 1 um, assembly machines. But that is working. Okay. Now, I've got some spare red science on me, so we'll just drop that off as well. And they should make their way up and be fed into the labs. Okay. Um, now, the next science is green science. For that, we need production of green circuits. So that is going to be the next thing on my bus, I think. So I'm going to do the standard that I've come to know and love stroke hate. Uh, I'm going to need a whole bunch more of these though. So each module takes five of these machines. Uh, let's start off with two modules. That way we can fill both sides of a belt. So if you haven't seen it before, um, just go and check one of my other videos, I guess. Uh, but that has ins. These ones need ins up here. Like that. Power, 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 power. And 
Oh, I need a couple of red ones as well for this. There, there. Okay, and belts. So we'll have some copper come in there. We'll have some iron come in there. And we'll have the circuits go out there. And then these ones over here just want to be set to copper cable like that. These ones here want to be set to green circuits like that. So that's one module. I can copy and paste that over there. No, I can't. I can copy and paste that there because that needs another iron line coming in and another copper line coming in over here. All right, what am I missing? Uh, inserters. I can do that. Okay, uh, then once again, we want that to be powered and hooked up, so copper on that line. And then this green circuit will pop out there, where it will join the bus. Okay, so, whoops, iron, iron, and then these ones over here actually just need to be hooked up, and that should finish it off. There's iron, and copper, more copper, okay, let's make sure this makes us some green circuits. Oh, I'm still missing a couple of things, what am I missing? Another two inserters. There we go. And we're making green circuits. Uh, we'll wait a little bit just to make sure the ones on this side are working as well. Yes, they are. Excellent. Okay, so now we've got green circuits, we can start looking at green science. So green science needs transport belts, which is just iron and gears, and inserters, which is what we need the circuits for, which needs iron gears and circuits. So it's easy enough to do. Um, I'm just going to double check something over here, actually. A red science takes five seconds. Yeah, okay, one per second, five machines. That, that was right, I had the right number of machines. I couldn't remember if it was five or six machines. I th think it might be... Yeah, six machines for the green science I need. There we go. So, let's make some of them. Okay, so what I'm going to do for these guys, we're going to have uh, one machine there, I think, that's going to make me some gears. That, uh, I need more inserters, of course I do. Uh, that is going to feed both that way and that way into another two machines. One making belts, one making inserters, and is going to get its iron from there. Uh, these two also need iron, so they can have some. Um, this one also needs circuits, so it can have some from there. So this needs to be iron coming in, this needs to be circuits coming in. So we can do the circuits right now. That was easy. And then iron is up here. So, there. Okay, so we need some power over here. Uh, there we go. And oh, that actually needs to be hooked up. Okay, so that should make me some belts and some inserters. Now they need to go somewhere, of course. So they will go onto a belt over here. Uh, now this one, this one here is going to do a little bit of a, a whoopsie to get put on the other side of the belt. So by the time it gets down here, um, we'll have um, belts on one side, inserters on the other. And then if we come down a bit further, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six machines. And these are going to actually make the green science. Okay, so the green science, as I said, needs to get up to the north side of that bus. So that comes up to there. And wants to join this line. 
but we need to make sure it joins the north side of that line. Now all of these ones are on the east, the right hand side, so yes, I can just do that, and that will work. Excellent! Now one thing I like to do here before I get a proper, like, mall set up, is because I'm making belts and inserters right here, what I can do is just take this a little bit further, and grab a couple of filter inserters and a couple of chests. And use those filter inserters just to selectively grab um, inserters, if I can remember where they live, down there, and belts. Like that. So that way I'll have a stockpile of belts up here. Uh, so I don't have to run down south every time. Um, although, yeah, I've only got 12 in there because all of this has run out of fuel now. So yeah, I do need a stockpile of belts and the inserters as well, of course. Now, because we're making green science, you can see they're starting to filter into the labs up there. Let's do some research. Um, now, I could just go straight for automation 2. And I'm very tempted to do so, actually. Yes, I think I will do that. Because that gives me the blue assembling machine, which is faster and more efficient and just generally better. Meanwhile, of course, the other thing I need to do is that. Which means that I can actually, you know, get materials to where I need them further down the bus. Um, now, while I was um, putting those belts in... Uh, whoops... Um, Automation 2 has finished, so the very first thing we're going to do is speed up this by putting both an assembly machine 2 there and giving this guy some fast inserters. Um, so this now should be running full time, which means I can get my belts and my inserters a little bit faster. Okay, um, now of course that research is finished, uh, so what else can I do? That will make things better. Logistics 2, I very, very rarely use red belts, so I don't know about that one. Uh, electric energy distribution could make four neater power poles, I guess. Um, in fact, I will do that one. Um, let's see, military 2. How is our pollution cloud doing? Um, okay, we're still... Okay, so, you know, we're affected by that base over there, but... If we get attacked by them, I'll be surprised, because they've got a very long way to go. Um, so, yeah, maybe we don't need military just yet. Uh, landfill. Come back to the map. I will need landfill, but not for a while. Um, maybe I should add it to the list. It's relatively cheap research anyway. Advanced materials processing will grab... Uh, don't need the circuit network just yet. Uh, tool belt, bigger inventory is always useful. Um, concrete, don't need it just yet. Okay, that's that's enough to be getting on with, I think. All right, now the next thing I would like to work on is a basic shopping mall. This isn't going to have everything, um, but it's going to have the stuff I need to actually be able to continue building my base. Specifically, belts, splitters, and underground belts inserters and fast inserters and long-handed inserters, power poles, which is why I'm doing electric energy distribution one now, because it gives me access to the slightly bigger power poles. There you go. And assembly machines. I think that's everything I'm going to put on um, this little shopping mall. So, um, so what do they all need? Well, we've got plates, gears, and circuits. Plates, gears, and inserters. Plates and circuits. So, so far we need plates, gears, and circuits. We also need copper, steel, iron sticks, but they're only used for the poles. Um, and then over here, they're uh, plates, circuits, and gears, effectively. And steel, gears, and circuits. And plates. So, yeah, plates, gears, circuits, and steel. Uh, gears come from plates anyway. So, circuits, iron, and steel are what we need down here. So, this should be okay. Right, so we'll do... Um, I need a few more of these first. Um, so, let's just make them. That should do for now. 
Okay, so I'll do the inserters first. Uh, well, actually, first I'll do the gears. There we go, gears. Um, right, so we'll have... Let's see, if I do something like this... Um, that, so I have iron come in on that side of the belt. So it comes in on that side, gears will get put on the other. And then circuits and steel, I need to split onto opposite sides of this belt. Like that. So our three main input items, uh, circuits, so we can have the circuits come in there, the steel come in there, and then the iron come in there. So we may as well go as far as hooking that up now. And there to there. Whoops. Out of belts, luckily I have a stockpile. Not a very big stockpile, but, you know, a stockpile nonetheless. Okay, so iron, steel, circuits, and we need a couple of undergrounds to get them past. Like that. Okay. And then once these guys are hooked up, in fact, I can do that with a big pole now. There, um, I should have made a couple more of them. Let's make a couple more of them. And now we have some gears. Okay, not very fast gears, but we have some gears. Um, in fact, I'm going to move this because I think it will be better in the long run if I have just the one output line like that versus two input lines that kind of way because uh, gears are formed by plates from a ratio of two to one Okay, so we'll just hook this iron back up, so that will keep working while we work on the rest of it. Okay, so we've got plates, gears, uh, yeah, then what I'll do, I'll have the plates come in around that way. So we've got plates and gears, steel and circuits. Next we'll do the inserters. Now I'm not going to worry about stack inserters or filter inserters at this point, so I've just got these three types, inserters, long-handed inserters, Fast inserters. Uh, these two both require the inserter, so I'll have three machines like this. The inserter will be in the middle, and I'll have long handed and fast on the edges like that. Uh, you need uh, plates, gears, and circuits, so you need one of them and one of them. You need plates and circuits. So, circuits from that one, plates from that one, you need, you only need gears and plates, you only need a yellow one there. Okay, uh, let's get these guys powered, I'm just going to use the smaller ones for these because I don't need the bigger ones. Um, no, actually, I am going to use the bigger ones. like that, and give you your inputs. Okay, and then you are each going to have a single output on that side into a wooden box. Like that. Okay, uh, next, uh, belts. So, similar kind of setup. Belts, undergrounds, and splitters. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have three machines like that, except this one is going to be belts. Uh, we'll have an underground one. If 
open fire there. And a splitter's one. Oh, we've finished doing that. Let's just do some of these in order then. Uh, okay, you need plates as well, so you get a yellow inserter. Uh, you need plates and gears, so you get a yellow inserter. You need plates and circuits, so you get a yellow and a red. One there, and oh, need a few more of them, and another one there. And similarly, you each have an output into a wooden box. Okay, uh, these guys I'm going to limit to uh, a row, them I'm going to limit to like half a row, um, because I don't need that many of them, I'm not going to limit that. These ones I'm also going to limit to half a row, because I tend to use fast inserters more than not. That one I'll limit to a row, because I don't need that many long-handed inserters all at once. Okay, uh, after belts, I am going to do uh, power, I think. So, I've only got these two power poles available. They both use an iron stick. Oh, copper. I didn't bring copper down. I mean, I, I can bring copper down. It's not difficult. Unless you run out of belts. Steal what you've got. Steal what you've got. Okay. So again, I'm going to use the three, except this time, you are going to make me some iron sticks. And that way, uh, you can then make, uh, you can grab some copper and some steel to make the medium poles, and you can grab some copper and some steel to make the big poles. Um, I'll put boxes, but I don't need those two because I really don't need sticks. Okay, and how shall I do this bit? What I think, if I put one there and one there, and then I'll do some underground belting there and there, and then you need a long-handed inserter to get the steel. You need a short one to get the iron for the sticks, and then this copper, if I just split that there, I can send the copper in down there, and I can also send the copper in down there. Okay, let's power that up. And these guys, I'm not going to limit because I need a lot of them. Them I will keep limited. Uh, steel. Why aren't you getting steel? Because I don't have any red inserters. Okay, we've got short poles, short poles, medium poles even, and we've got big poles. Okay, uh, after that I am going to put in assembling machines. Now, I'm not, again, I'm not going to worry about assembling machine 3, just 1 and 2, and in fact I'm only doing 1 so I can get to 2. Um, so there's 1. There's two. Um, right, you also need uh, circuits, gears, and steel, so you need a long and a normal inserter. You need uh, gears, circuits, and steel, so you also need a long and a short. So pop that down there, pop that down there, give you each a box. No, you don't need a box. You do. Um, not going to limit that because I need a metric ton of them. Okay, need a few more inserters to go around and a power pole. And I think that is going to be my mall. Okay, so we are now getting those assembly machine mark twos. Okay, so a little bit shorter today. I'm going to leave this episode there. Um, prior warning this time, between episodes, what I'm going to do is basically upgrade what I've already got. So now I'm producing, if not mass producing, the Assembly Machine Mark IIs. All of, them, all of these machines are going to become Assembly Machine Mark IIs, which will, I think, double my production speed. And I will, probably not everywhere, but where it becomes useful, I will upgrade those 
inserters into fast inserters. Um, but we have done quite a lot of work this episode. We've got red and green science going and we have our more. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there. In the meantime, I will say thank you very much for watching and I will see you again soon.